Greetings, Warriors. This is Counselor Ryan Van Campen. Today I want to show you how to send your transcripts electronically through Naviance. The first thing that you're going to want to do is log in to your Naviance account using your student email and your Google password. Once you're into Naviance, the first thing you're going to see is a little reminder of the steps you need to take to submit your transcripts through Naviance. You're going to see that it's a two-step process. You need to both submit a request through Naviance and as well through a paper transcript request, which will be turned in to Mrs. Harris in the main office. We're actually going to start by showing you where to find the paper transcript request. That'll be over on the left-hand side of your Naviance screen on the quick links. Once you click on that, you'll get a pop-up in the next window with a form that you can print out. This form will have important information such as your first name, your last name, and ID number, and we're also asking for your student's cell phone number. This is important for us in case there's anything missing in your transcript request or with your application and we need to get a hold of you. It's better for us to be able to get a hold of you directly rather than trying to look up your parents' phone number and have them tell you what's missing. Once you look at the form, you'll be able to see that there's a spot for you to list up to five colleges per form. Here we'll need you to list the name of your school, whether it's a common app, and whether you're sending it electronically. Also, there might be other information that you need us to send along with your transcript, such as a counselor recommendation form, a letter of rec, and also the deadline. Please make sure you note if you're applying for regular admission or early admission. Most colleges for their early admission deadline is November 1st. You'll take this form, complete it, and turn it into Mrs. Harris in the main office. Once you've done that, you'll go back into Naviance and you'll click on the Colleges tab. From the Colleges tab, you should see some familiar sites. One thing that you can note is you'll see all the upcoming visits. Those are important in case any of the schools you're applying to are coming to Obansi over the next couple months. You'll want to meet them in person and just make that face-to-face -face contact. When you're ready to send your transcripts, though, you'll click on the Colleges I'm Applying To link. From here, you'll see our trial student already has one school on their list. But if you want to add additional schools to your list, you'll go ahead and click Add to this list. From this screen, you'll be able to look up several colleges by clicking Look Up. From here, simply type in the name of your school. If you see, we type in North Central College, North Central College comes up. Once your school looks in, is appeared in this box, you'll want to let us know whether you're applying for regular decision, a rolling admission, or early decision. If you're not sure, leave the regular decision box checked. Next, you want to make sure that you enter a request for your transcript. It's also going to be important that you check the box that says, I have submitted my application. This is important because your colleges won't want to see a transcript from the school before they see an application submitted from you. Once you've put in the name of your college, what type of decision you're doing, request the transcript, and submitted your application, you'll go ahead and add college to your list. Now you can see that we have put in a transcript request for both Illinois State University and North Central. Here we can tell whether you have submitted it during using the Common App. We see from this screen that you're showing that you're requesting it to be sent electronically. As you go on, you'll be able to see this next important column, the office status. Right now these are pending, implying that the counselors have not sent your transcript yet. Once the counselors have sent your transcript and it has been received by the college, you'll be able to see the exact date in this box. It's a nice handy way for you to keep track of all your applications so you don't need to ask Ms. Sane or I if we've sent it yet. You'll have that visual proof right there. 
you can easily go ahead and add additional schools to this list as you complete your applications. Should you have any other questions, please visit the Senior House and visit Ms. Sainer or myself, and we'll be happy to help you with the process.